You know, after I launched Girls With Swords, I was doing radio interviews and television interviews, and I was super excited because I had one particular interview that was completely different than any other one. I don't know if you know how it works, but you basically send a list of questions to the interviewer, and then they read those questions back to you on air. So at the end of the day, you're kind of just talking to yourself. But this particular interviewer, she didn't ask for a list of questions. She had read my book, and she began to tell me how her son spends three days a week at a fencing studio and she was so excited that I had used the dynamic of fencing to talk about women and swords. And let me tell you what she told me. She told me the story about her son and how he had to work his way up to be instructed by the master fencing instructor who just happened to be a woman. And her son was showing off for this fencing instructor and busting all of his best moves out. And the instructor said, you know what I want you to do over the weekend? I want you to look in the mirror and every time you see yourself in the mirror, I want you to practice your on guard stance. And he was like, wait, that's, that's the very first thing I learned. And he said, aren't you going to show me something cool? She said, no, no, I just want you to practice your on guard stance. So all over the weekend, he was frustrated. He like looked at his mom, was like on guard, looked at his younger sister on guard, and was like, I can't believe she didn't teach me something more dynamic than this. So when he came back to his next lesson, she said, show me your on guard move. And so he did it, and he said, I think it's kind of stupid. And she said, that's because you didn't practice, and you underestimated the power of knowing what your opponent sees when he looks at you. We are confused, and we think that this position of looking into the mirror of word of God is not something that we just like a study. No, it's actually what we're supposed to reflect out into our world. And the enemy does not see us the way we see ourselves. He sees a church rising up. He sees women waking up. Do not be confused by what you see in a natural mirror. Open up the word of God and begin to mirror it in your lives. On guard.